You've stumbled upon Creeping with Armstrong. Well, okay, well, I've got a couple of things. As always, I think it worked very well last time when we looked at stories from, you know, things that caught our eye. Mm-hmm. And I like that. So I've gone from that again. One of them that's been going on this week um, is, is a figure that I'm sure you'll be familiar with, having ever looked at the 14 in time. The, um, uh, the Leopard Man from the Isle of Skye. Have Ooh, you seen no, him? He's, not a word. Oh, is, is, is he um, changed his appearance to look like a leopard, or was he born leopardess? No, no, he's covered in leopard tattoos. All oh, right, okay. And what, tattoos of leopards or leopard spots? Leopard spots. All oh, right, okay. And he's been living... Not like, lepards. No leopards. Oh, okay. Lepards. Uh, he's been living on the Isle of Skye in the wilderness for like the last 20 years. Yeah. And that's been like his whole thing. Like, I am the leopard man of the Isle of Skye. And, and I bring you Tim Butcher. Butcher. Yeah. And... Uh, that's, how... That's such an in-joke. We're not even <laughs> going to go into that. Uh, so he's been out up on the Isle of Skye, and his whole thing is he used to be in like special forces and the commandos and things such as that. So he likes living... So, so those tattoos are actually camouflaged? No, he's, but... he's got them since. You oh, can right, have okay. any, I was reading today. He's not like Google. a super uh, super soldier. If only. Uh, if only, once again, computer games have, mm-hmm. have made us think that things like this can happen. But no. Uh, so he's just been living like this in the wilderness existence whilst looking like a leopard man and yeah. all the pictures of him are just like in a loincloth uh-huh. looking a bit like Jesus. Has he ever been on holiday to Bodmin? He is not. He's, uh, not, he's not the beast of Bodmin more. Okay. But, uh, but, the, but the whole thing is is that I like the fact that, that it's all been saying in the paper he's had enough. After 20 years he's come back and he's just going to go like live in a flat in Glasgow <laughs> somewhere. And I just think What's he hoping would happen? Is, is it like, I it maybe, is it, although this isn't going this is not how I planned things. But but I, I always love sort of self-help things. You know part, part of one of my, my longest ever jobs, of course, was uh, working in a bookshop and having to be uh, surrounded by a lot of, quite frankly, nonsense self-help books. One of them was just saying, like, follow your dream and go, go and find that thing that makes you feel at one with yourself and the universe. And I love it, you know, when you see things like this. You say, well, I went and did that, and oh, I'm getting a bit old for it now. Yeah. At the end of the day, <laughs> what happens to all of us is, is what I could actually do with is some nice hot running water yeah. and a shower yeah. every day and not living in a... But unfortunately, I tattooed myself. In a shack. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what he was doing. So I just wanted to say hats off to the Leopard Man. Of well, yeah, welcome back to um, welcome society. Back to society. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're listening to this podcast, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. You've stumbled upon creeping with Armstrong.